What's going on guys, it's Shane, we are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to School Bus Simulator 24, owned by JustGames.cc. Today we're going to be reviewing their most recent update. In this update, there are two new school buses, electric buses, double and single stop sign customization options, a rear stop sign customization option, uh, performance fixes, and bug fixes. Uh, now I want to make a quick uh, mention that uh, I did try to record this earlier, but there were some stutters in the video so you're probably going to see some more stuttering um so but i plan on this having to be the final take so um if there are stutters we're going to go through with it but uh yeah so let's go ahead and hop in the two new buses are the uh thomas 2021 thomas c2 julie i believe that's how you pronounce it here it is and then the other one is in other it's the 1990 crown super coach i will be driving both today uh, just kind of doing a quick tour of them, driving around. Uh, I don't think we'll do a route. Uh, we're just going to kind of review the buses and some of the customization options. Um, so, uh, if you want to know how to an equip a different electric bus, um, all the other ones that have the charger icon, uh, you can equip the electric versions of those buses. So, the Shorty, the ICB. E 2015 um 2022 or sorry 2020 t3re you can all they all have electric versions um but today we're gonna drive this one and the crown so we'll go ahead and hop in it um but real quick you can see already the rear stop sign on the back of the bus but uh we'll go ahead and hop in the custom garage show you how to equip them and how much they cost uh so actually one thing i didn't know about was the rub rail colors i didn't know you could change those uh, but you can change them to yellow uh, if you click on stop signs back stop sign you can equip it and unequip it uh, I forget how much it was. I think it was 2500 I'm not 100% sure though. And then you got stop signs. You got the single option. And the double. So that's cool too. We're going to keep it double though. But everything else you've seen before. So we'll take a lap in this bus. Let's see. Uh, it says it's an electric bus. But it doesn't necessarily sound like one it's it's definitely got a lower um pitch of uh, noise coming from it you can definitely tell but uh, when you actually hear it it doesn't sound like a electric bus um but here's the charging station um it's just currently charging i don't know how long you have to be here or to finish but that is the charging station uh, the headlights don't work on it. Uh, I believe they know that. Um, same with the sound as well. I don't know if that was intentional or not. But we are getting those stutters as you can see. I'm going to see if I can get a nice screenshot here. This is beautiful. Let me uh, try to get like a... Oh, that's nice right there. It's nice. That's nice. Okay. Um... But yeah, it's all around a nice bus. I, I had a feeling they were going to add this one because this one is very iconic. Um, you do see this specific bus in a lot of the other bus simulators. So no surprise there. And I accidentally took the stop sign off in the rear. I did not mean to do that. Um, I actually don't remember doing that at all. I did that. Um, let's collect the money here. Now... Let's see so i don't know what the bug fixes and performance fixes were like i said we're getting stuttering issues so clearly there's still some performance issues um but yeah just the stop signs very cool um who's in the interior so you can kind of hear the engine oh god I guess you would still refer to it as an engine. I don't know much about electric vehicles in general, honestly. Uh, 
But yeah, we're not going to do a route um, simply because we want to cover both buses. And that would just take a little while to do. But if you kind of want to see me do a route in both buses, um, you can check out my stream that I did, my most recent one. Um, my first impressions were on there as well. But I decided we're going to do a video uh, just covering this update. So... I also added a noise gate to my mic. I totally forgot when I reset my settings. Um, it took away the noise gate and I forgot to add it back. So you shouldn't be able to hear everything in the background when I start to talk. So uh, I don't think they added any new uh, trip options. If they did, I'm pretty sure it would have been added in the update log. So. It was kind of a small update, but then again, it was a big one, you know, because it has to do with buses, so. Any type of bus update is usually pretty big. I'm assuming they'll have a pretty nice Easter update, just like they did last year. Uh, usually for the holidays, this game does have a very nice uh, update. So, we'll go ahead and... Actually, before we spawn in the crown, I'm actually going to show you guys... Um, oh man, huge lag spike there. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what uh, it looks like to actually equip the electric versions on a normal bus. So, quick play, bus driver. And for an example, we'll actually use my favorite bus model. Uh, so you just click uh, electric version, make sure it's on, and then spawn. And then it'll have a green bumper. Uh, I know in a lot of districts that's used for like propane. Oh my god, this bus looks so nice with it. Oh my goodness. The chrome rims and everything. Looks so good. For those of you who don't know, this is my favorite bus model. So, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and spawn in the crown. We'll spawn in the crown. And this is also a very nice bus. Um, I forget how much it was. It says bought already. I bought it on stream. I totally forget how much it was. Um, now this here, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this was used as a transit bus back in the day. Because um, you can definitely tell because of the ventilation in the back for sure. That's Tell me that's not a transit bus. And it probably is. Uh, they probably just made it a school bus. I don't know if this was like originally like a school bus or something, but... Uh, yeah. No. Oh. But I love the interior on this bus. And the way the door opens, I'm going to show you that here in a second. Show you that. So, uh, with this bus, it only has, like, one light option. Obviously, there's no ambers. I think it's just reds. Uh, so you can see them turn on there. And then here's how the door opens. Look at that. Yeah, so it's like an old-timey transit bus. Cool timey transit bus. The headlights work on this bus. And then look at the uh, turn signals. Those are quite cool too. But I also wanted to give a quick shout out to whoever made the game icon. Where it has like the blue lights on the C2 and the uh, electricity right under the bus. That's such a good game icon. Um such a good one uh it was very appealing to the eye it definitely caught my eye and i did not mean to open the door get that i get a nice screenshot with this bus as well but uh speaking of icons uh if, if you or anyone you know actually is a good gfx artist uh let me know uh on this video uh, i'm in need of a new uh, youtube icon uh, and banner so um, let me know been meaning to get a new one but uh, I'm gonna need to have somebody do one for me because I'm not the greatest at it so not the greatest at all okay. we'll go ahead and pull this back into the lot but I think that was uh I think that was everything. Oh my goodness. Another lag spike. Yeah, I don't know what the uh, performance issues they fixed. It clearly wasn't those. 
Um, but I think they are aware of that as well. And I think they'll be uh, publishing a fix pretty soon. So. But I think that's everything. Um, let me know down below how you guys like this update. I think it was pretty nice. It's a small update, but like I said, anything to do with buses is in general a pretty big update uh, and huge news. So, um, yeah, if you guys do wish to play the game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. Uh, with that being said, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.